How are you doing today? Good, yeah. thank you. We'll have a seat. Okay. We got your results in and the, the blood work indicated that Christy you were positive for celiac disease. So basically we're just here today to discuss what celiac disease is, the types of foods you can and cannot have, and just basically some resources within the community that you can refer to and access. So I just wanted to start off by asking both of you, what do you know about celiac disease? Well, I know when Christy has eats bread or pasta, she gets a bad tummy ache. Yeah. Some of the foods that contain gluten, okay. um, they prevent the nutrients from the foods we eat from getting absorbed into the bloodstream. Oh, okay. So basically that's why you were feeling th those stomach okay. aches yeah. and things like that. Yeah. So the, the best thing for us to do is avoid foods such as gluten. What's gluten? You find gluten in foods such as noodles and cookies and bread. Okay. So treatment for celiac disease is a lifelong commitment to eating a gluten-free diet. And with me, I have many foods here that I've brought as examples. So for example, you can have any fruits and vegetables like apples, bananas, celery, carrots, and here are some pancake mix as well. Oh, waffle mix, pancake oh, mix. Oh, you can still have Sunday that. morning waffles. That's good. Yay. That's I have some gluten-free food recipes for you. Fun, so mom, we can yeah. do cooking together. Yeah. And there's actually several other resources here as well for you guys oh, to great. look through and okay. take with you. Okay. So Christy, is there any concerns you have in regards to your new diagnosis? Yeah, I don't, I just don't want to be different. I feel like I'm just, people are going to think I'm weird. I understand this, and it's okay for you to feel this way. However, it's also important for you to know that everybody, you know, is different, and they have, you know, qualities that make them different and unique in their own individual ways. And also, there's probably at least two other kids in your school also have celiac disease. Really? And going through the same things. Wow. What about you, Mandy? Did you have any concerns? Christy goes to her grandparents' house. Um, after school, and they always give her. They give me Yeah, oh. and I think this is going to be really hard for them to wrap their head around the whole gluten-free thing. Yeah. It's going to be totally new for them. So, um, when Christy goes anywhere, whether it's to school, whether it's to her grandparents' house, or birthday parties, um, she can create. There's like a, it's called a cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. Just it has foods that Christy can and cannot okay. have, and it's good to just create that awareness and distribute these lists. Okay. So we know that Christy is always safe. And Christy can also, um, it's called a snack snack sack, and mm -hmm. she can put like gluten-free snacks in there, so she'll mm -hmm. always have something with her. Okay. Um, and also, the Canadian Celiac Association, they're having a workshop. Mm -hmm. It's basically for newly diagnosed clients, as well as their families to attend, so it would be a great mm -hmm. opportunity for the grandparents mm -hmm. to come as well. That would be really good. Yeah, and it'll give Christy an opportunity to connect with other children her age. Oh, cool! Yeah. yeah. How are you both feeling? Good. Well, I do have to admit it was overwhelming at first, but, you know, after this meeting, I'm feeling really positive just knowing that I have the Canadian Celiac Association and all the cheat sheets that we can just give to Christy's grandparents and friends and, you know, she'll have her snack sack with her. So I'm not going to eat um, pasta and I'm not going to eat bread unless it's gluten-free. Yes. I just want you to realize that this is an ongoing process. You're going to be learning as we're going to be going along. And I have a refer referral for you guys to go to the dietitian. Okay. And he or she is going to be helping you with labels and creating a better diet plan as well. Feel free to contact me or email me if you, with any questions or concerns. I would love to hear from you. And I'll check up with you in a couple months. Okay, well thanks for coming. Thank you. You're Thanks, Tina. You're welcome. Bye. Nice meeting you.